Hey guys, my name is Pospender Seni. Once again, I came with a very interesting tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to tell you about the real-time database, how you can integrate in your iOS application and how you can create a chat room exactly. Okay, so let's begin with the development without wasting any further time. So at the very first, I'm going to create one chat controller. Okay. So this is just normal chat controller. Here I will enter message and that message I will send into the group and that message will display to other users okay so how we can do that at the very first we have to integrate the real-time interaction library so first of all what you need to do this is the firebase project okay from here you need to click on real real-time database after that you will see in that real-time database and then click on create here you can select the mode first of all i'm going to integrate with test mode okay so i click on that and it's enable after that the database will create successfully okay now i will click on doc document and here is get started with ios so here you will find real-time database for ios get started so here you will understand what you required actually for the firebase okay so this is pod library so i will copy this i will paste here i will open my pod file and i will paste here after that i will save i will open my terminal and inside my terminal i will put the location of this folder okay so i copy this and i paste in my terminal cd pod install now it will install the pod file pod library has been successfully installed now i will build build project so that i can use the firebase slash database library now i will create one chat view controller new file here i'll give the class name let's say chat controller click on next yes create now this is my chat view controller and from where i will open this i'm going to open this chat view controller from my main controller okay i'm going to take one button called name as chat after that i will present my chat view controller on the click of this button okay so i will drag and drop my navigation from chat button to chat view controller and i'm going to give the class name as chat controller now i will set the outlet of chat controller to chat view controller swift class so here it is i will code as tf message and this is button send and it will be type of ui button click on connect after that i will open my chat controller from here and now if you will see what they said firebase configure we already did that in my previous videos so if you did not watch my previous video then you can watch my previous videos so first line database reference what is database reference database will give the url of the database real-time database so how we can get that like first i will copy the entire inside my view did load and from view did load i will call this so this is my reference okay and for this what i require import firebase database done now just align this if i would like to enter something let's say i'm going to take one room ref dot child called as chat 
room now we have to insert some data inside this chat room dot set value and value will be like that now run and build in simulator so one side I'm opening my firebase database this is my firebase database here I am clicking on chat and I'm saying that hi after that I'm sending now you can see chat room created and the message came here now how we can listen this message in our another phone so what we have to do that let's say it is private function observer or we can say message observer here we will observe all the message okay so ref dot child and child is chat room okay dot observe and what is the data event type dot child changed snap sort okay so here will be the changes now value equals snapshot dot value as a string value will be directly a message it will message copy print here click on chat hi you can see print message came here okay now i will run same application in tunes simulator and i will show the output in label okay so how we can do that first of all i will take one label outlet inside my controller so here it is now click on connect open chat controller after chat controller here your message will appear okay and one more thing so lb dot text equals value and this will be self okay and it will work for both simulator now first i will run on this simulator and secondly i will run for 11 pro it's running it's taking some time so this is my second simulator from here i am sending one message let's see hi now you can see the message came here if i will send from here then you can see the message will appear here now same way you can see the real time interaction in database every message will affect here you can see it's affect here and then it's observer by the application now same way from this simulator also here you can see it's affect here and then came to the application same way it's come to here so it is real time database interaction i hope you understand the complete flow if you have any doubt regarding real time database interaction then you can comment into the comment box and if you required any special video then also you can comment into the comment box and one more thing i would like to tell you that do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel because on my youtube channel you will find lots of video related to swift development like how you can create a custom ui how you can design pedometer how you can control a flow chart and many more video like that so please subscribe and keep boosting your skill thank you so much have a great time Bye.